Well, one of the young stars of the Signet WNBL this season hails from the Adelaide Lightning. We are super excited to welcome her onto the WNBL show this week. It's a big hello to Izzy Borlace. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How is your first proper WNBL season going? We know you played one game last season, but you are doing big things this season. How are you finding it? Yeah, um, I'm really enjoying my first, or I feel like this is like my first season now and I'm really enjoying being back home and Adelaide's really welcomed me with open arms. Let's go back to round one because you put your name up in lights against Southside with a double-double in your second ever game. It really did feel like your first WNBL game though. Can you reflect on what that felt like that night um, in Melbourne at the State Basketball Centre? Um, yeah, I didn't really have any expectations at all heading into the game. Um, I was hoping just to get some court time. Um, and then, yeah, I, I was quite happy with how it went. I mean, we didn't get the win, but yeah, I was quite happy with how it went first game. So social media is a huge thing these days. It was really just my space when you started Mia. It's a different world now, <laughs> but I can imagine your phone sort of blew up after that. Were you being tagged in a lot of Instagram stories? Oh, just a few here and there, a um, couple of friends. Um, yeah, but it was good. <laughs> so Nat Hurst is your coach at Adelaide. She's a first-year coach, but she's put um, a lot of confidence in you to start and play your role. What's Nat been like as a coach for you? Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying playing under Nat this year. Um, she's really understanding, can really just talk to her about anything and yeah, she's instilled a lot of trust with me just coming off the bench and just letting me do what I do and I'm really enjoying that. Hi, Izzy. It's Mia. Um, I am a huge Izzy Borlase fan, not only because you play for Forestville, but I'm just so oh, yeah. in, impressed with the way you imposed yourself on the league um, at such a young age. Um, did you have the option to play in the WNBL, like to play college or why did you choose the WNBL? I'm really happy that you chose WNBL pathway, but <laughs> did you have that option to go overseas? Um, yeah, for sure. I definitely had that option. I didn't really have that many schools contact me, to be honest, but I trained over the summer with the Lightning when Chris Lucas was um, coaching Really enjoyed that and then when that um, took over, she gave me a call and I was pretty keen to get down back home to Adelaide and play amongst like some some people like Steph Talbot, like Marina Whittle and Loz, Loz Mantle. Oh, those silly colleges, Mia. Oh, I know. We <laughs> might be kicking ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, college loss is our gain in the Signet WNBL. You are a product of the COE and there's lots of your um, – COE teammates playing in the league, which is awesome. Kristen Veal was your coach there and she's now leading Canberra. Can you tell us about the impact that Veal had on you as a young player? Um, yeah, I absolutely loved my time at the COE and under Veal. I mean, she brought out a lot of confidence in me. I was just a shy, probably still I'm a bit shy, but shy young girl when I got there and then the likes of Jade Melbourne, Shanice Swain, and then Nadio and Dallas are like one of my two, two of my best friends now who are, I'm getting to share all these experiences with. What's it been like playing against some of those girls in the, in the WNBL? Nadio and Jade just this round gone. Yeah, um, it's great to see them. I hadn't seen Jade in a little while and then Nads, I've seen her a few times now and I think it's just really exciting that particularly Nards and I get to do this together and then Dallas who we'll be, we'll be back next year but getting to share these experiences with them. So you mentioned being back home in Adelaide and a bit like Mia your family is sporting royalty in South Australia because your dad um, Daryl was a premiership player with the Port Adelaide Magpies and of course your mum Jenny represented Australia in netball. Um, did you have a choice about playing sport as a little kid growing up? Um. Look, I think I've got two older siblings and I kind of just followed them around and then I guess mum and dad, we just have balls hanging around the house and that's kind of just how I got into it, particularly my older brother and then my sister as well just all got out in the backyard and I guess that's how it all started. Well, Mia, you've got a brother as well who plays basketball, Brad, as we know, and we know the Froling twins are pretty competitive. Um, Mia, what were your backyard memories like 
going face to face with Brad. <laughs> yeah, generally ended up in a brawl. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, we were, you know, I was, I'm three and a half years old, younger, sorry, younger than Brad. Um, so physically, like it, it took a little bit more to, to compete with him, but um, no, it was always competitive and we're always playing some sort of sport. And I think that's, that's great. Um, you know, when you're choosing a sport to try a bit of everything and even if it's table tennis and having a brawl over a table tennis table, which happened on many occasions. <laughs> Sound familiar, is it? <laughs> yeah, 100%. That's probably where our main brawls actually happen on the table tennis table. <laughs> table tennis. It brings the <laughs> yeah. demon out in you. Yeah. Hey, maybe we should have a <laughs> table was- tennis tournament. Brad and Mia, Izzy and her siblings, and the Frolings. Can you imagine that round, Robert? <laughs> we wouldn't have a table. The Frolings would end up through the, <laughs> the table. <frolling. laughs> um, you mentioned some of the girls that you're playing with at Adelaide. Um, what's it like playing with someone and being captained by Steph Talbot? Obviously had an amazing tournament at the FIBA Women's World Cup, runner-up in the Susie Batkovic medal last year and won it the season before. Um, what's Steph like? Give us a bit of an insight. Um, yeah, I absolutely love training against Steph and then being on her team when we play. Um, but I think off the court, she's just a really chilled out, cool girl. Um, and yeah, I've loved getting to know her and just like learning off her and just being us, being a sponge, I suppose, like having her defend me at trainings is probably really frustrating at times, but I think, uh, I'm probably learning a lot as well. Before you played in the WNBL, was there a player in the league that you looked up to or did you have a favourite player? I went to the World Cup early in the year and I think I just the, all the Opals just really in, inspired me. Um, I loved watching Christy Wallace's defence. I thought that was great. And then obviously Steph and now I get to play with her. Um, but just everyone like Sammy shooting. Um, but now the fact that I get to play against them, I'm just like, before games is fangirling, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm playing against them now. Oh, I love that so much. Well, there's plenty of young girls fangirling you now, Izzy, because you're the up-and-comer in this league and I'm sure um, you've got aspirations to also play for the Opals. We know you've represented Australia in underage competition. Yeah, for sure. I think having the World Cup here really inspired me and lots of other girls, I'm sure. And then, yeah, we I was in India early in the year and – played in the under 18 Asia and that was a really good experience and hoping to do the same next year with the World Cup um, under 19s next year too. Well, we know you will be there. That's for sure. We're loving your work in the WNBL this season. Izzy, thank you so much for joining us on the WNBL show and we wish you all the best for the remainder of the season. Thank you. Thanks for having me.